Hosting has become the new civil disobedience in the 21st century. This is Peter Merrick, and I'm in La Jolla, San Diego, and I want to share with you an experience I just had. I was deplatformed for a post. I shared my opinions on and also I shared some information on several papers. For that, I was silenced. Well, I have to share with you that we need to speak. When you have something to say, speak your truth. People will hear you. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm sharing my thoughts. Now, I was highly influenced by Thoreau. Many of you might know Thoreau because in the 19th and 20th century, he was one of the great writers and thinkers that came out of the New World. He chose to live on a pond called Walden. And he wrote about it in a beautiful, beautiful book. That's not what I'm going to talk about because his influence on me comes from an essay he wrote in 1847 from a, an event that happened to him in the early part of the 1840s. See, he was put in jail because he refused to pay a tax. The reason he was not going to pay that tax, he refused to pay it, is because he did not agree with how the government were treating the Native Americans. He ended up getting out of jail, but that event impacted him so much, he penned one of the great essays ever written. And that was Civil disobedience. And in it, he talks about the rights of a human being to protest unjust laws, unjust legislation. Now, this essay that he wrote speaks through the generations. How, you might ask? Well, Gandhi read that. And that led to India getting its independence. That act of speaking and sharing something that was truth and he was not frightened to speak it. Thoreau wrote it down. And almost a century after he penned it, Gandhi read it. And that freed a country that is 1.4 billion people today also who read it, Martin Luther King Jr. read it. And that's kicked off the civil rights movement. See, our words have power, especially when truth is attached to it. People say knowledge is power. I say no. The use of your knowledge, the speaking of your truths, that is your power. Why are people being censored today? Ordinary people, I'm nothing. I'm absolutely nothing. I don't know like, why I would be censored. But I do. I want to share with you what is known that ants can bring down an elephant 
many ants can bring down an elephant. See, we are the many. And if our individual voices come together, we change the world. The problem is we don't understand our power. So what happens that brings down an elephant by a bunch of ants is there's certain trees that ants in Africa really like in this it, protecting in the savannas. And if an elephant tries to eat those leaves, those ants will crawl up his tusk up his nose and they will go into the brain and they will eat the elephant and they will bring down the elephant. So do not feel frightened. One person can change the world. Why? Because they can spark, spark a revolution. I want to leave you with one last thought. Many people look towards the person who starts a movement. I would say the most important people are the ones who support the person who makes an act, who takes an act and does something with it. I'm going to leave you with an example. I remember being at a concert, an outdoor concert, and one guy gets up and he starts dancing and he's dancing and he's having a good time. What happened next was another guy got up and he started dancing with him. But then he did something that was so incredible. He started asking other people to join them and other people got up. And before I knew it, all these people were dancing. And you know what the incredible part is I don't dance and I got up and I danced. That's how powerful individuals are who come together with other individuals who speak their truth and together they will speak a universal truth. So right now in our society in 2022, civil disobedience is posting, sharing your opinions. Do not be silenced because your truths matter. Everybody's truths matter. It's not for the powers that be to decide what's important. A good thought will be promoted. A bad thought, soon as light comes to it, it will dissipate. You guys have been great. Thank you for joining with me. And if you like, please like. Help me grow my channel. Please follow me. And this is Peter Merrick. I'm in La Jolla. And I will not be silenced. And I'm asking you to help me to make that my reality.